everyone today let's learn how to calculate the missing frequency when the mode is given so in this example here is the class interval column this is the frequency column now the mode of the data is given as 52 and we have to find this missing frequency now we all know that the mode formula is this but before we can use this formula we need to find out these values so friends the mode is given as 52 now what is mode yes mode is that data which is present the maximum number of times so 52 in this data is present the maximum number of times now in which class interval does 52 lie let's first find that out well 52 definitely lies between 40 to 60 that means this is the class interval where 52 will lie so friends this is known as the modal class so let me just highlight it so the modal class is the class where the mode is present now that we know what is the modal class it's very easy to find out all these values let's see what their values are now l is the lower limit of the modal class so here is the modal class 40 to 60 so what is the lower limit yes definitely it's 40 so let me write here 40 now h is the size of the class interval so friends any class interval you take just subtract the upper limit and lower limit so for example 80 to 100 i just do 100 minus 80 which is 20 so 20 is the h or the size now f1 is the frequency of the modal class so here is the modal class what is the frequency 28 so f1 is 28 now f0 is the frequency of the class that comes just before the modal class so here is this class 20 to 40 that is just before the modal class what is its frequency 16 so f0 is 16 friends don't confuse between f0 f1 and f2 okay now f2 is the frequency of the class that comes immediately after the modal class so that is 60 to 80 what is its frequency we don't know that's what we have to find so let's just keep it as f2 only so now that we know what are all these values let's substitute it in the equation so we have mode equals to so the mode is already given as 52 which is equal to l so l is 40 plus what is in this bracket f1 minus f0 that is 28 minus 16 i hope you're getting it friends be careful while substituting divided by 2 times f1 that is 2 times 28 minus f0 now f0 is 16 again minus f so what is f2 it will be f2 we don't know its value multiplied by h so what is h 20 see friends we have substituted now it is just about solving this so let me bring the 40 to the other side so 52 minus 40 i'll get over here and this will be 28 minus 16 which is 12 divided by 2 times 28 that is 56 right minus 16 minus f2 remember friends all this is in bracket multiplied by 20 so 52 minus 40 that will give me 12 now 12 times I can always write 20 in the numerator now 56 minus 16 yes that is 40 minus f2 so now let me just bring f2 to the other side so this is what we get just slowly do the, all the calculations so let me bring the 12 to the other side friends see like this okay so 12 and 12 gets cancelled that means 40 minus f2 is 20 which means minus f2 is 20 minus 40 minus f2 is minus 20 so what is f2 20 that means the missing frequency over here is 20 so friends i hope you understood how to find the missing frequency using the mode of the data so friends for practice do try out this question find out the missing frequency and let me know your answers in the comment section below so if you found this video useful do like and share consider subscribing to enjoy math and if you have any questions any doubts any feedback please do let me know in the comment section below so till we meet again take care